Hello, this is Steve Mann. Welcome to episode 25 of Dee's Vlog. Um, just a little quick reminder to all those who watch my vlog. This is the last week to get all your questions, comments, and suggestions in for the April edition of Dee's Vlog. So don't forget, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, email them to me at the email address down here. DJ Phoenix at live.ca. That's DJ Phoenix at live.ca. Or if you're on Facebook and you want to join my Facebook group for these vlogs, you can join the group. D Fan YouTube videos are the bomb and they don't suck that much either. So go into Facebook, do a search for D Fan. That's the group that you should be looking for. Defense YouTube videos are the bomb, and they don't suck that much either. So, if you need to get your questions, comments, and suggestions in by next week, I'll include them in next week's entry of the mailbag. So, now that that's out of the way, I want to talk about this week's topic, and that's the upcoming Canada's Walk of Fame. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, about eight years or so ago, Canada started having its own Walk of Fame here in Toronto. It's basically a bunch of, like, it's like the Hollywood Walk of Fame that they have, you know, like the whole stars and I like with actors and musicians and all TV personalities and all that. I don't like, uh, uh, commemorative plaque on the sidewalk. Well, they have the same premise here in Toronto. And nominations are uh, up. Uh, so, like, if you... This is for Canadians only. You go to www.canadaswalkoffame.com slash nominee. That's www.canadaswalkoffame.com slash nominee. You go there, write your... Right in who you think should be inducted in this year's Walk of Fame. And who knows, you might actually have your uh, nominee uh, put on the walk this year. And this brings me to who I think should be on the walk this year. And quite frankly, why this person on isn't on the Walk of Fame is a travesty in my opinion. And, like, yeah, and that is actor Paul Gross. Now, for those of you who remember, I did talk about Paul Gross's uh, latest project, Passchendaele, my first ever vlog way back, uh, yeah, it'd be five months ago. No, five, six, uh, yeah, five months ago. And basically, uh, and I, it was a great piece of work, Passchendaele, as, far, as for those of you who remember episode one. And he's a great actor, director, producer, writer, and uh, okay singer, but he's mostly known for his theatrical work. And quite frankly, I think he should be on the 2009 list of inductees for the Candace Walk of Fame. And personally, I think he's more deserving than some of the other people that have been on there. Uh, I like, seriously, Alex Trebek, okay, great Canadian, but seriously, why is he on the walk? Um, uh, and I can but they asked for, like, uh, Canadians who made an impact in the industry over 10 years, and who has national or international appeal, and quite frankly, you get that with Paul Gross, I'm mean, like, he's, I mean, like, just look at his, uh, work with Due South. That show is seen in countries worldwide. And if that's and and like that show started up I like a good ten years ago. I mean like I remember like nineteen ninety six I believe it was. And so that has the ten years credibility. And he's got international appeal with Due South, Passchendaele, Men with Brooms and even with Slings and Arrows, which I have to admit is a pretty good mini series for those of you who don't who haven't seen it yet. So basically I think Paul Gross should be nominated on the Walk of Fame this year. Uh, and, and, and besides, you have other Due South alumni in there and George and Gordon Pinson and Leslie Nielsen, so why not Paul Gross? And that's what 
I believe he sh- should do. They should do is put Paul Groves on Kansas Walk of Fame this year. So, if you want to nominate Paul Groves or nominate anyone else who hasn't been on the walk yet, go to www.kansaswalkoffame.com slash nominee. Write in your ballot. List your nominee. The reason why you think he, they should be inducted. And basic and like and who knows if you're in Canada you might even win a trip to this year's ceremony, which isn't necessarily a bad thing in my opinion. A free trip to Toronto, even though I already live here, and tickets to the Gallus induction ceremony can't go wrong with that. So that's basically what I want to say this week. Uh, not much for episode 25. Episode 26. I might surprise you, might come a little bit later this week, because there is a movie I saw yesterday, and if you know me, I will probably do a vlog review of it. So, that's episode 25. Thanks for watching.